Hi guys, I'm Nagadachan, and welcome to my reaction for A Certain Magical Index, episode 3. So, previously we had, like, actually really cool fight. I really like that fire magic or summoning or whatever it was that was, like, really cool. But the main character was kind of able to overcome it because he uses his brain. <laughs> so, I kind of like that. But then uh, the red-haired dude wasn't able to kind of physically overcome him, which is kind of sucky, right? Yeah, I think they probably just don't expect anyone to be able to, like, dispel their magic, so that's probably it. Yeah, but still, still, still prepare for things which you think might not be possible, right? <laughs> You never know, you never know. And he also left the girl, the index girl, with his teacher. Yeah, and I, I hope she's going to get healed. But like, the fact that main character is kinda, was kinda dragged into all of this, yeah, I feel like he's going to be in danger a lot. Right? Because... She has extreme immense knowledge, or like these books, inscriptions inside of her, in her memory, so that would make sense, dangerous people will be after her, and I don't still know if the dude is from the church, but it seems like it is, right, they're from the same place, so they might think the main character is dangerous for their cause, so they might try to get rid of him. Even though the red hair wasn't able to. <laughs> he was trying, but wasn't able to. But like, they might send more people after him. There was also this chick, which was watching. So she might be one of the enemies. Yeah, well, looks like the main character's love is just going to be interesting. Yeah. So I guess I'm just going to start it right now. Okay, I'm glad there are at least... Going back to these important stuff. Yeah, very severe. That looked really bad, the wound. Like, really bad. Necessary is the church of necessary evil. Okay. She's so creepy like this. Okay. Really? What? I mean, like, internal clock is sometimes very impressive. Oh, she's able to tell that. That's really cool. Why did you ask, though? I mean, she needed to know if it is truly Japan, right? Okay. Can you revert back to index? Creepy automatic stuff going on? Okay. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> She's so creeped out. Okay, yeah, so she needs her. Okay. No, that's not going to work. I'm sorry, no. Yeah. She has some kind of healing spell, so we'll do it. Yeah, she would die. I mean, imagine you will... You, you've been drowned in such a situation, like, what I should do, yeah. <laughs> this is not so creepy. Yeah, you need to hurry up, because she's dying. Why are you asking? 
Why? Okay, this looks like a magical ritual if I saw one. Interesting. Yeah, she just said it, ritual. Okay, this is like magic magic, like old fashioned magic magic. You know, when they said magic, I imagine just casting shite, but it's even this. Okay. Dangerous to use it. Oh my goodness. This magic is creepy. Music. At least it's very not hard to own, you know, like the get. Okay, this is really creepy. <laughs> M magical shite. Girl, do you want to destroy everything? Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, you should probably hurry. You should probably hurry up. This is a really weird shite. Yeah, that's what I imagined. That they are just using their imagination. Okay. It is coming. Oh, that's really cool. So, how will it look? Oh, wow. She just said no. It's imagination. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Intriguing. Oh. This is seriously creepy and weird shite. <laughs> if I was a teacher, I would be like, you know what? No, I don't want to have anything to do with this witchery. Burn you at a stake. <laughs> okay. But I like it. It looks like this. It's very, like, traditionally. You know, like, what you would magic of all times would kind of be about. Not just, you know, like, throwing some kind of magical spells at some people. Okay. Okay, and that's gone, and she's back. Yeah, she's probably tired. Yeah. Uh, the the main character yeah that would probably not be nice because I guess he feels responsible 
I mean, it's true that, like, it was his dispelling magic which made her clothing kind of not working, and that's why she got hurt. Because they did not expect that. They were like, oh no, we are just going to scare her or something, and it actually hurt her and almost killed her. They're both very small. Cute. So it's it's the teacher just very small and petite. <laughs> That's just so weird. She looks like a literal child. I mean, he just found her and saved her. Okay. Teacher, what is your problem? Also, I don't think you should be hitting on um, your students. Um, I mean, it makes sense that she would try to do this, but I don't know if it is good. If more people knowing would be good. Yeah, this could like even endanger more people. Yeah, I mean, she kinda is involved already. Okay. And? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I mean, she probably has a right to know what the hell is going on because she was just thrown into all of this. I kinda get it. But it might endanger her gravely. Because it seems like people going after Index or the place she's from, whatever, uh, don't know if you want them to be your enemies. Well... I would imagine. Oh. So it can affect this world using it a lot? So it's too much? Well, I guess so. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Differences in opinions. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's like a necessary evil, right? Mm. 
Okay, so that's why it's so powerful to have it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah. That's very powerful. And they don't want anyone to have it. I mean, because you were a complete stranger. <laughs> True. But we sign a lot already, right? I mean, I guess she probably lived a different life, right? Because of, like, stuff she has inside of her. They are treating her like a thing, not like a human person. And he's completely, like, he's different. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should not be forgetting about that. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going a little back. Yeah. Education is important. <laughs> I mean, she's still a cute little girl. What are you doing? Ouch. What the hell? Okay, so they are working together. Yeah, that was probably a smart idea. Okay. Yeah, there must be some kind of reason. <gasps> hmm. Hmm, they're interested. What day? I mean, this is a land they have no idea about, Kana, right? Mm. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know about the chick, but it seems like he kind of is doing this stuff for some kind of reason. But the city is very nice looking. Yeah, there seems to be like more behind everything. I mean, they said unnecessary evil, right? So they are probably doing a lot of shite. For good reasons, but are there are those reasons really good reasons, right? I guess for you. Hmm. 
What? <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea. Hmm. She's been secluded. Okay. I think. Interesting. Interesting. Some kind of influence of something. So, like, she... Has some memory problems because something. Trigger. Hmm, that might be bad. Something wrong might be happening to her. Why is she even in Japan? Right? Uh, come on. No, <laughs> you are maybe overdoing this a little because you are saying some BS and she mad. Okay, yeah, you should be more delicate with a lady like that. Why is she biting him, girl? What kind of weird fetish do you have? <laughs> Huh? What just happened? That's a little creepy. Okay, this girl. Root. Oh. She really looking cool, not gonna lie. I love her design. And that's the end. Frick. Okay, this episode! I'm glad that we got lots of more information and things are kind of making sense, though there is still a lot of mystery and I do really love it. I love like they are explaining little by little, right? So this church is a necessary evil, so I don't know what they are doing, but everything in that is probably like doing even bad things for a good causes. But like I said, do are we really sure these causes are good causes? Right? Are we sure about that? Are we really sure about that? They, they, they can be just saying that, right? Yeah, so I'm pretty intrigued about that one. We also learned a little bit more about the girl and her situation. So she has a... Like, she doesn't remember things. That is intriguing. Why? What happened? Why she is even in Japan? What is going on? That is very, very intriguing. Because, like, she has this church knowledge and things, but she actually doesn't know, like, what was happening. Why she is here. Why she is losing our last memory about this stuff. That's... I wonder... Someone or something must have happened to her. Yeah, or... Someone might have done something to her and then these guys from the church came here to get her Because it's dangerous for her to just be running around when some other people which you know magic can just get her and you know Extract the knowledge from her right that would be like no we can have that happening So I wonder what happened 
done. That magical ritual. I really love it. I really love it. It was hella creepy, hella weird. And it really felt like something old-fashioned magic would be. Right? And I really love that they are having this kind of aspect of magic in it. Yeah, th that's like definitely something you would be burn at stake for. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. <laughs> That was really, that was like really very witchcraft-y, yeah. That one magic we saw was just like some crazy summoning fire or whatever. And like that looked like very modern stuff with like fantasy and anime and manga like about magic, right? Like people just throwing magical balls of something at people, but like... This one, the incantation and the presentation fell really all the time. Yeah. So magic has aspects. So magic is like this. I, I really love it that like, I really love it. Okay, I love that the magic in this is like this. It's not just another throwing balls of magic and doing like cool and theatrical shite at other people we had a little bit more of these two guys so i really like the presentation of the chick she looks really really cool and she kind of seems more cool and calm if you know what i mean the redhead dude i mean i guess it's a red hair do you know the red hairs in anime they are kind of very passionate and emotional and dude was definitely that but it seems like like how he was talking he's not exactly proud of things he's doing and he's just doing them for some kind of reason because i guess he believes in the cause maybe so it's necessary evil and he probably wishes for it to like finally be done right but he kind of even felt sad for the girl intriguing very intriguing. I really want to know more about his character, like all the characters and their past, what they've been going through. I wonder what is happening with the church. Hmm. Something, something just doesn't feel right. <laughs> I mean, that necessary evil kind of speaks for itself, but it, it feels like there is kind of more to it. And it feels like they're just using these people for whatever. And I don't know if I really trust their church or whatever. Yeah, I definitely want to know more. So this episode was really good. I really, really like it. I think I'm going to give it 8 out of a 10. Yeah, because we learned a lot. We got some glimpses of things. And for me, that is like very important. And both main character and Index Girl are very cute together. Like, yeah, I kind of feel that their relationship is progressing kind of fast. And I would want a little bit more between things. But it's still, like, pretty nice. I imagine there is, like, more to it in light novels. As always, right? Because book medium and uh, anime medium are very different ones. So I'm very excited for reading light novels. Yeah, I always appreciate all those like freaking details they kind of have no time to put in anime. And it makes things more richer for me. That is why I love books. <laughs> because all the freaking details which are excluded in adaptations. Yeah. This is getting more and more interesting and intriguing. And I really like it like. I want to know what is happening, what is going on, why things are this way, or why they are not this way. Yeah, that is very, very cool. So much mystery. <laughs> so much mystery. That's like right up my wally. So I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.